What color were the original Hebrews? I have told you that we don't know that for certain. Then you can't believe for certain that Jesus was white. God is white. Isn't it obvious? Well, that is obvious, but we don't know if it's obvious that God is white. There he says, and Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. See, Jacob saw God face to face. So he knew how God looked. All right, let's go a little further. Let's go to Exodus. Let's go to Exodus 33. Let's go to Exodus 33. Let's look at verses 9. All right, Exodus 33, verses 9, 10, and 11. It says, And it came to pass as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloud pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord talked with Moses, and all the people saw, all the congregation saw the cloud, the pillars st stand at the door of the tabernacle door. All right, see, uh, this is this wasn't done in the dark. All of them saw God. And then he says here, he said, and all the people rose up and worship every man in his tent. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face. Now remember now, my sisters and brothers, over there in St. John, the first chapter, around about uh, the uh, 13 to 14 verse, somewhere in the teens there, Jesus said that no man has ever seen the Father but him. But here you, we can see clearly, you know, that he is nothing but a liar. Lucifer is nothing but a liar. Here we see the whole congregation, all of Israel, saw God descending down in the pillar here. And then we see here Moses talk to him face to face. So Moses had to know what he looked like. And God would never... God is not stupid. God is not ignorant. God would never ask Israel to do something that they could not do. Why would he ask them to seek his face if they didn't know what he looked like? And that doesn't make any sense at all. Now, my sisters and brothers, we see here in verse, uh, uh, to the letter part of verse 10, it says, Every man in his tent rose up and worshipped him. And then verse 11 says, And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man uh, speaketh unto his friend. See that? God spoke to him face to face. Now, let's go a little further. Let's go to the book of Numbers. Let's go to Numbers. Numbers, the 14th chapter. We're going to look at verses 13 and 14. Numbers, the 14th chapter, verse 13 and 14. Look what it says. It says, And Moses said unto the Lord, uh, Then the Egyptians shall hear it, for thou bringest us up bringeth up the people in thy might from among them, and they will tell it to the inhabitants of this land. For they have heard that the Lord God, that thou, Lord, are among his people, that thou, that the Lord are seen face to face, and that the cloud standeth over them, and that the that 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 thou goest before them by daytime in a pillar of a cloud and in a a pillar of fire by night. See, so everybody, even even the people around about, know that all of Israel know how God look. They know how God look. They, I mean, I mean, but. But see, but when you come into a strange land and you have stripped of all your knowledge, you have stripped of all of, of everything that you know about yourself, and you are told all these lies, then you don't know the difference. So Israel, here is your proof. Here is your facts that this white motherfucker over here called Jesus, that they call the Son of God, he is not. And I repeat, he is not God's son, neither is he our savior. We only have one savior, and that is the God of the Hebrew Israelites. Now, let us go a little further. Let's go to Numbers. Let's go to Deuteronomy, the fifth chapter. He says, the Lord made not this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us who are all of us have I'm here alive this day. The Lord uh, talketh with you face to face in the mountain out of the midst of the fire. He said, I stood between the Lord, uh, you at, at that time to show 
you the word of the Lord, for ye were afraid by reason of the fire, and went not up into the mountain, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. And just like we say, he says, out of Egypt, then he called it the house of bondage. See, we are in Egypt again, as it says over there uh, in the latter part of Deuteronomy 28, the sixth, the, the, the sixth verse. He said, you should go back into Egypt again by ships, meaning the house of bondage. See, we are still slaves here in America. No matter what they tell you, no matter what kind of lie they tell you about what you got freedoms, but this and that. No, you are a slave. You will never be treated equally here in this, in this country until our God. I'll come back and deliver us. Now look what he says here. In verse 7 he says, Thou shalt have none other gods before me, including Jesus. He said, Thou shalt not make thee any, any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters beneath the earth. And you see all these Christians, they got these crosses on the neck. Uh, they, they got this uh, little symbol of a fish or something. Uh, they got all these things. They got these statues They got of Jesus. They got all these things. But yet it's the God saying, don't make any images. But yet, still, Jesus tell you all, all, all his followers they can they can have crosses, you know. And they tell you get behind the cross, get behind the cross. All this old bullshit. See, Israel, we only have one Savior. We only have one Savior, and he he is the God of the Hebrew Israelites. No one else can save us. Now, let's go. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that Jesus did not have blonde hair and blue eyes. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that the images of Jesus that are on prison walls and churches throughout the world are not historically correct because history teaches us that Jesus was born in a region where the people had color. There's proof in the very Bible that you ask us to read in Revelations first chapter verse 14 and 15 that Jesus had hair like wool and feet the color of brass. Just, just what are you saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm proving to you that Jesus was not and I might quote one of our Indian brothers, he was not a pale face. Isaiah 29, 22. Therefore thus saith the Lord, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. So, there you have it. Our high priest does this week after week three times a week, showing our people that the Old Testament and the New Testament are two different books. The New Testament takes pieces of God's truth from the Old Testament and write it in the New Testament. But if you don't know what God's book says, then you wouldn't know that you are being deceived for destruction. This particular teaching is titled, Israel, Who Are You Seeking God or Jesus? We here understand that the Most High God of the Hebrews has finished His work in His book of old. Jesus, whether He is black, white, pink, or blue to you, Jesus is a.k.a. Lucifer which is another teaching. In this teaching, I'm paraphrasing, but Jesus said in his New Testament book that no one's seen God face to face. But if you don't go back to God's book, the Old Testament, where God Almighty, the Creator, spoke to his people, ate with his people, walked with his people, visited his people and their babies, then Jesus and this false New Testament faith book will deceive you. Our ancestors have nothing to do with Jesus. And once you understand that God has established His Word, and His Word is the only truth, and that God Word is settled in heaven, then you would understand that no one can change the Word of God, and everything that is taking place now and has taken place was by our God's hand. If you made it this far with us, we hope that you consider watching our High Priest other teaching videos and shorts. No one is like Him or teaches like Him. This truth will blow your mind and help you line up with the Word of God as close as possible so that you are ready for Elijah the prophet's return as prophesied. Jesus, a.k.a. Lucifer, is not our Savior. The Most High God is our Savior, and He will deliver us out of the hell He put us in. If you believe you might be from the house of Israel or the tribe of Levi, then smash that subscribe button. Shalom, family.